Hi and welcome to another video. In this quick video I just want to go through the differences between the new GTAXE 11000, that's the Wi-Fi 6E um, router and the um, previous router that is the GTAX 11000. So again the main difference between these two are that it has the 6 gigahertz frequency now for Wi-Fi 6E. Um, so there's a, a actual chipset that's out the uh, Intel AX210 I've done a previous video on that and you can get a PCI Express uh, mini card to go into onto your motherboard or you can get a PCI Express card as well that uh, fits into your PC and I, I think right now the drivers are available and you have to have the latest version of Windows so again they are all roughly the same um, and as I said the main difference is, is minimal and I personally can't see a reason why I would upgrade currently to the new uh, AXE 11000. Um, there is no really benefit for me. The USB is still 3.1 Gen 1. Um, there, you still have the uh, RG, RJ45, uh, so your Ethernet ports, you still have one 2.5 gigabits per second, and you have the uh, one gigs as well, uh, four of those. Um, so again, there's not too much difference. As you can see in the layout of the uh, firmware as well, there's not much difference between the two. Um, you do have still have the same dashboard where you can change the um, RGB lighting. Of course, the outer shell of the um, new router is different. You do have your boost key uh, now on the corner instead of on the side but everything else is the same and we'll just go over a few of the software differences um, as we go forward and again they are minimal differences the processor is still a 1.8 quad core processor with 256 MB NAND flash and 1 gigabyte of DDR SD RAM so that hasn't changed um, the difference is again is that this uh, new router has a 2.4 gigahertz one 2.5 gigahertz and a 6 gigahertz uh, frequency and the previous uh, had uh, one 2.4 gigahertz and two 5 gigahertz um, frequency for the Wi-Fi um, both were 4x4 four four, and you'll notice as well the top speeds they have on this uh, new uh, router for the AXE 11000 for Wi-Fi 6E it does go up to the same highest speed up to a 4804 megabits per second and that's a 4x4 four four, um, 1024 uh, qualm and that's at but megahertz you've got 20 40 80 and 160 the same as 5 gigahertz so personally uh, it makes no difference for me right now to upgrade but of course if you're buying from new then of course buy the latest version um, so moving on, we can have a look to see what the different features are. And again, there is minimal, like I said, um, unless you really want to get the six gigahertz frequency, um, then I see no personal reason that you need to upgrade currently uh, to this new version. So if we go along, as we see, you've got the dashboard, the AI mesh, AI protection, uh, open NAT, game radar, uh, Wi-Fi radar, VPN and traffic analyzer. Um, all the main features are roughly the same. Um, there is not much differences going on uh, between them. So again, I think we're looking at them, is a, both of them a tri-band. Um, and as we said before, there's not much on the difference, I think, when we look at them. so. We're going to now move on to have a look at the uh, game acceleration. So on game acceleration, we can see here before we had WT Fast. Um, this is where you could sign up for, uh, for the different features. Uh, this new AXE 11000 now has outsourced it to Outfox. As you can see here, the price plans, you do get a special offer of $29.99, reduced from $39.99, the normal price. But you do have to download the software now that's related to it. And I do believe it supports more games. So it may be a better choice uh, that they've gone with this other company. 
and they do support uh, GeForce Now. Um, so I think that's through the quality of service. So as we can see on the Wi-Fi settings menu, the only difference is the six gigahertz menu option. The authentication method for the encryptions it includes all the same as the previous AX11000. And you can see from the six gigahertz frequency, as we said before, it supports 20, 40, 80, 160 megahertz. And it can auto control the channels as before. So to summarize, the 2.4 gigahertz band goes up to 1,148 megabits per second, and the five and the six go up to 4,804 megabits per second. And then moving on to WAN, uh, the, there's no differences here within the internet connection, so it still supports all the different connection types for DHCP or automatic IP or um, your choice of PPoE um, that we have mostly here if you're connecting to a fiber broadband without a modem um, that you can use. So the changes overall are minimal and so of course as I said before the only one difference is the hardware is a 6 gigahertz frequency so if you really do need that then, um, then of course upgrade but if you really don't need that and you like me Currently, I use Ethernet. Um, there's, it would have been nice to been seen the uh, Ethernet ports upgraded and also the USB to at least a USB C. Um, so it would have been nice to see a few more increase in that. But overall, um, this is just a small, uh, I would say, um, upgrade with a six gigahertz um, because there's minimal devices that take advantage of it currently. Okay, thanks for watching, and have a good day.